Hello and welcome to yet another unboxing video. You can find the unboxings of the Heinkel 162 and Horton 229 on my channel, but now it's time for the Bachem 349 Nutter. This German interceptor was basically a manned rocket intended to launch vertically from hidden launch towers near critical infrastructure. Once it reached the enemy bombers, the pilot was supposed to fire a salvo of unguided rockets at them and eject. It was planned to recover and reuse the Nutter's fuselage and engine too. However, there was only one manned flight which resulted in the death of the pilot. The Nutter is one of those projects from the Second World War that really fascinate me. It would be interesting to consider how history might have changed if the Nazis focused on only a few of those projects instead of wasting their sparse resources on so many. Anyways, back to the kit. This kit was released in 2016 by Bran Gun, and you actually get two kits in one. You can also buy photo edge detail sets and launch towers separately. On the back of the box we can find the painting and decal guide for two versions. Brand Gun uses the RLM color codes, which is a plus. Now to the manual, where we can find an overview of the parts as well as the part numbers and some more colors. The assembly starts with the cockpit section. I don't expect many details here, but we'll see. As its real counterpart, the construction is quite simple. You just continue by adding the wings and control surfaces, followed by the solid fuel boosters. There's obviously no landing gear, but you get a wooden trestle to place the nutter on. Mount the canopy and you're good to go. Now let's have a look on the parts. First up the canopy, which is crystal clear. We get one sprue for each of the two planes with 24 parts each. The panel lines are nice and the detail of the rocket launchers and instrument panel is quite convincing for the scale. I'm sure no one will see it after assembly, but it's there. Down here we can see the control surfaces, the trestle and boosters. And the same sprue again. Last but not least the decal sheet where we find some tiny stencils and designators for the T-Stoff and C-Stoff fuel as well as four red stripes. All in all this kit looks quite promising and I'm looking forward to building it. If you want to see my other 144th scale kits and other builds, check out my channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a nice day, bye!